can you solve this trig integral? So here we have 2 over 4 plus 4x squared dx. So this is going to be another trig sub because we can write the denominator as a 4, 1 squared plus nx squared, right? Since we have the addition of 1 squared plus x squared, let's consider a right triangle. I'm going to define my theta right here. I'm going to say the adjacent side is 1, the opposite side is x, and the hypotenuse is the square root of 1 plus x squared. That way I can define my tangent of theta to be opposite over adjacent. So that's opposite x over 1. So that's just going to be an x. So my x is a tangent theta. And therefore a dx is just going to be a secant squared theta d theta. This guy is going to be my trig sub. So x is equal to tangent of theta. And so I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the integral by pulling that 2 outside of the integral as well as that 4 and rewrite that as 1 over our 1 plus tangent squared of theta times our dx, which is going to be secant squared of theta d theta. And recall the identity, 1 plus tangent squared is equal to secant squared of theta. So I'm going to replace this guy into our denominator here. So we'll have 1 half times the integral of secant squared of theta over secant squared. And beautifully, these are going to cancel out. So we're going to have 1 half times the integral of d theta which evaluates to 1 half theta plus c. And all we have to do is take the inverse tangent of both sides of this equation to get theta in terms of x. So we'll have theta is equal to the inverse tan of x. And so we plug that into our theta 1 half tangent inverse of x plus c. Our final answer is 1 half inverse tan of x plus c. I'm Dr. Andrew, signer for calculus tutoring at the link in my bio.